day two of quest six of a ripple in time and we are on visit pokestop seven days in a row so let's do our second hey two day streak so today was gonna be hunting shiny wingo because this is the weekend of the global challenge and the yokosuka event but as it turns out i already got two shiny wingo on the way here so. shiny so I guess I am just going to be feeding pineapps to stuff and trying to do as much research as possible. So what field research do we have? I have a bunch of stuff that I have not claimed yet. So I didn't even get research off that spin. It's okay, we're off for a walk. Celebi Quest Day 3 of Spinning Pokestops. Now I could just sit at home, spin the stops nearby, and get my quest done, but Pokemon Go is about adventure, so we are out. Today we are at National Trust Stowe, and that's one of the great things about playing Pokemon Go in England, especially in summer, is that there are all these amazing things around, and more often than not, you will find loads of Pokestops in gardens like this. Now this, because I'm a National Trust member, it is free. But even so, it's still open to the public, you just gotta pay a fee. Gardens like this, houses everywhere, or giant old houses I should say, are everywhere in England. And it's just kind of fun. So, as you can see, this is a Pokemon gym. Sadly, there is no space for me. But, I'll get my daily spin. Hey. and a free raid pass. Now this massive building is Stowe House, which is dates back to the 17th century. It's now a private school, and of course, a poker stop. Weird lack of Pokemon around it though. Of course, the best thing about these places is that there's always a tea shop at the end. Day four of Celebi Stop Spinning. Now I know yesterday I was all, yes, this is adventure time. Let's go outside, let's do cool stuff. Today I'm tired. And also all the Stardust bonuses that were unlocked from the Global Challenge don't actually start here until 9 p.m. So it's a chill out day, go out to the park, sit on a bench, but I do have a Mewtwo raid. So I'm off to do that. And then it's time to stay at home and chill. No oh, change of plan. I've just realized I got the quest that gives you silver pineapps before I've actually done the Celebi quest that gives you silver pineapps. So I gotta try and hunt down five fire type Pokemon today. Now there is nothing on my radar. So gonna have to do a bit of exploring. Two hours and a four kilometer walk around the town later. And I still have not caught a single fire Pokemon. I picked up one quest that gives you a fire Pokemon as a reward, and that is evolve five fire type Pokemon. But I don't think I have enough to actually get that today. And even then, that's still only one out of five. But I'll hold on to the quest because silver pine apps are hopefully really good, although things do tend to jump out of golden raspberries. So. I don't know if I want to do this much work to get a single silver pineapple. So if I do evolve those five, I get a single nine tails, which gets me one fifth of the way to a silver pineapple. At this rate, I'll probably get the ones from the Celebi quest first, and that's three days away. Or if I'm lucky, when the nests change, maybe one of the nests near my town will have fire Pokemon. Day five of spinning Pokestops for Celebi. Today is actually a proper rest day and I have done barely anything. Still no fire Pokemon in sight anywhere. So no silver pineapple for me. Two more days to go. I think a cat's gonna eat me, oh God. This cat knows I'm allergic to it and started menacing me while I was filming, knowing I couldn't go anywhere. Cheeky little bugger. Look at it! Stop it!
No! Cat, no! Stop it! Day six of my Celebi vlog and I have brought a cat wrangler <laughs> to keep... No, what's it doing? <laughs> okay, it's gone. Okay, I think Nick's got it distracted with with neck rubs and things. Yeah. All right, well, no. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Finally, I have reached day seven of stage six of a ripple in time. Visit Pokestop seven days in a row. Was gonna go to a nice park, but it's raining. So instead I'm sitting in a shopping center next to a nice tree. I think it's a real tree. Probably. Time for the final spin. A little bit nervous about this because there have been a few reports of people resetting to day one on their seventh spin, but hopefully that's been fixed. Seven day streak. Yes, there we go. Almost move on to the next phase. And seven day streaks give you a lot of stuff. but I still need to find a Pokemon to evolve with an item. All right, I went digging through my bag and found myself this lovely little Poliwhirl here. So we're gonna use a King's Rock and evolve him into Politoed, which is not super useful, but he's bright green, bright green and cute, so I like him. Yes, all done. Ooh. Do we use another egg? 3,005 times 3, that's 9, that is 10, 11, uh, 10,500 XP. No, I don't have that many eggs, so I'm gonna keep my eggs for the next time I get an Ultra Friend instead, because that'll get me an extra 50,000. It's clean! Give me my silver pineapps. This data is so helpful. Thank you, I'll use it to explore my theory. Thank you, Professor Willow. While you were in the field, I made more headway in learning about this mythical Pokemon. And it seems that its mere presence causes grass and trees to flourish. I think if you catch more grass type Pokemon, this elusive time travel Pokemon will reveal itself. Let's catch 40 grass or psychic type Pokemon make an excellent curveball throw, and earn a Gold Johto medal. I already have the Gold Johto medal, so that's nice. Excellent curveball. <laughs> that might happen. Oh, actually, the good thing is, so it's 40 grass or psychic types, I have seen an awful lot of Mr. Mimes here. So, ooh, and more silver pineapps. Excellent. Yeah, look at those Mr. Mimes. Let's get them. Maybe this will be my excellent curveball, though probably not because I'm using one hand to hold a camera and my phone is in my lap. Oh uh, no, my phone is rocking like a mad thing. Ugh. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Oh, great curveball. This is the problem, right? When you get near, you get a great curveball, so you've already got a pretty good chance of getting it. And that's not good if you want to make multiple attempts. Which is why in one of my other videos I suggested using your 7 day research breakthrough, which I'll get tomorrow. Because they are currently the legendary beasts. I think it's, it's September, so it's Entei. Fire month! I realized that was no way near close. Come on. Come on, I know I can do this. Nope. Nick is giggling at me. These are not ideal throwing conditions. And I caught him as well. Time to go on adventures, I look for Mr. Mimes and maybe some grass. 
I am on the final, final task for Celebi. So this is stage seven of a ripple in time. I have caught 39 grass and psychic Pokemon. I have my Johto medal. I have done my excellent curveball. So gonna go into my stack where I have a grass Pokemon waiting to be caught. And this will be the final one. There he is. All right, Mr. Bulbasaur. Don't judge my throwing. Yes. Catch 40 grass or psychic types. And that's it. That's everything done. The next task should be just to catch Celebi. But given that Celebi is guardian of the forest and while I have some nice greenery, this is not exactly forest. We're going to find a better setting to catch this mythical Pokemon. This looks good. Okay, we are going to claim all of the Ripple in Time rewards. I got my lucky egg on to get my bonus XP. And I believe this is when Celebi should appear. So we are in a nice foresty area. Should be good for the mythical Pokemon of the forest. Let's do this. Oh, the wind is heralding the mystical Pokemon. Start encounter, you must be an AR. I think this might actually mean it this time. Unlike the previous Eevee. Oh, there we go. Where are you, Celebi? Wait, I can't find it. Celebi is haunting Nick and my camera. Oh, he's off! He really just wants to be near you, Nick. <laughs> Wave! <laughs> You're looking very suspicious there. I'm gonna turn around and try this again. Never mind, the professor wants to talk to me. I think he thinks I caught it. Weefs, what an amazing experience! The appearance of the mythical Pokemon Celebi is thought to be a sign that a bright and shining future awaits us. You've come a long way in your research, and I must say you're inspiring me to discover even more Pokemon. Until next time, Weaves. Ah, oh, thank you, Professor. Let's grab me XPs. And my Stardust. And a bunch of candy. Wait, is that instead of getting the Pokemon? I don't know. I'm gonna try and get Celebi. There we go. There he is. Why am I only on Red Bulls? Yes, nice and close. Oh, too close. Oh, cheeky bugger. I can't hit him. Yes. All that excellent curveball training didn't help at all. Okay, now he's way too close. Yes. Popped him on the arm. Yes. 
I have a Celebi. Hooray! So now, I now only have one Johto Pokemon to get, and that is Smeargle, who is not actually in the game yet. So we have completed the Celebi quest line. Professor is very happy with me. As far as quest lines go, it was all right. I mean, I do get what Niantic is doing when it comes to leading players through the different features. So like get an excellent curveball. A, you gotta get good at throwing or find the right Pokemon and B, you do have a better chance of catching. The seven day streak, that was the one thing that was frustrating. The seven day Pokestop spin streak. It takes so long and the other quests that you have to do alongside it can be done in like an hour. Like it was throw, what was it? Use Pineapps 25 times. You can do that so easily. Whereas if they'd combined it with the catch 40 grass or psychic Pokemon, at least then I have a good reason to go out and catch like 10 or 12 grass or psychic Pokemon instead of just going, well, I've spent a week doing this. I'm just gonna hunt loads of grass Pokemon or you've spent a week doing it and then you have to spend forever trying to find grass and psychic. So that stuff could have been balanced better. Otherwise, it's done. We have got loads of stuff. We now have silver pineapps and I got my second mythical. So thank you all very much. Those of you who have watched the entire Celebi vlog journey, it was good fun. Despite that one thing, I enjoyed making the videos. I will be doing more beginner's guides and more news, so go on and hit subscribe if you enjoy that stuff. Hit that like button and I will see you guys soon.